Hey there guys, this is Charms Way and welcome back to Long Live the Queen. I sh I don't know what's happening now, honestly. This is too much. Like eh. God damn it. I don't know if this walkthrough, well, yeah, is actually accurate because it doesn't take to account the stuff that like, uh, anyway, um, if I have to do it again, I will, but I'm going to press on, see what happens. I'm probably gonna die somewhere in the middle. Okay. Uh, shite. Okay. Uh, I need some court manners, but I don't. Know if I'm gonna boost it up in time. Court manners. Court manners. You review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. Mm -hmm. As a person of the highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission and no one must ever turn their back on you if they do you are intended to recognize the the insult okay um shit <coughs> ah your highness what a pleasure it is to meet you in the in person at last your description did not do justice. Wow. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't know how to deal with handsome older men <laughs> paying me compliments. Fuck. Wait, oh, he's the person I'm supposed to marry. Fuck. I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted my humble offer. A jewel for a jewel. But you... Are the, mo uh, are the more precious? I'm coming up with stupid accents. I'm very sorry if I'm offended. F offending you. Fuck. I hope that this is only the beginning, uh, beginning of a mutual beneficial relationship. A union between us would bring stability to both our people. He really doesn't want to marry me. Fuck. I'm not going to pass this. I need to let him down gently, and that failed. Wow. I am not marrying you. I'm only 14. That may not have been gentle. I see. I regret the misunderstanding. Well, fuck my life, right? Ah. Oh. It's my mood. I'm gonna play with my toys, fuck it. Ah, uh, what now? Ah, uh, blimey fuck, woman. Uh, God damn it, it's week 13. I should have gone by these standards. I've been look. I was looking for like, by what week I need to learn something. Obviously, like, I don't know what this thing was trying to tell me. Literally. Oh come on! What am I gonna do now? I need public speaking. Um, uh, you take deep breaths and practice speaking loudly and clearly protecting your uh, projecting your voice to every corner of a room. You memorize 
listen uh, lists and sonnets that recite uh, then recite them for your teacher and any castle staff she can round up to serve as an audience okay fuck you are requested to stand in judgment a woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown fuck what voice ah oh. your highness this larin dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof which sister? Uh, Coruscant the... I can't even do cognitive. I don't know why I'm trying. The judges of maid. Fuck. Is she alright? Fuck. I... I'm failing at everything! What the fuck? Well, this is a bad fucking round. She is unarmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat a foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's justice, it is! Them devils killed me brother and broke me mom's hat. Lied to her they did when she went to see why he'd got not come back. Then he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He weren't the only one neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own buck. That's justice. You see? She's completely un unrepented. Anger and be done with it. Fuck, I don't know what this is all about. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but... Mother of fuck. Uh... I don't know. I'm not going by this, this thing anymore. Uh... Imprison her. It's the best of two. You tried to murder my noble of my domain, and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. You not have me! All of a sudden she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your court dress you are unarmed. You grope for a weapon and... Find only a heavy golden ornament which you hurled in her direction. Fuck. Your missile flies wide of its mark. Before you have a chance to do anything, you, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Clean that up! Well, that fucking sucks. Okay. I should go to her. I got it! What do I do now? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands. Press it against your chest over your heart and say, Illuminate. Oh fuck, I forgot to do her voice, didn't I? Okay, sure. Okay, here we go. Illuminate. Oh, it's magical girl time! I'm gonna turn it to Sailor Moon. You feel dizzy and both larger and lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Wow. The priestess here is a friend of mine. I will come to your lessons in the faith and teach you to use your powers. Yay! Oh, f good. I feel good. Hmm. God damn it. It's week 14. Okay. Uh, 
public speaking is only there, so I need to do more of that. Your teacher asks you questions about made-up nonsense, pushing you to improvise answers smoothly and swifting without having to worry about them being correct. You read collections of famous historical speeches and practice saying them in convincing dramatic fashion. Uh, fashion. God damn it. Yeah, I can't do any more of that. I didn't know that I would... As you are walking one day in the garden, do you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead? A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. Fuck. Uh, when you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There is a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I... I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where... where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought to treatment. Brought in for treatment. Ah. Putting all the sick together wouldn't that make them die even faster? Seriously? Are you... Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't I can't believe you. Okay. We are not interested. You are very stupid. All right. Ah, uh, what do I do? I can do this. Ooh. Well then, okay, it's week 15. Let's work on present. Oh no, my presence is totally fine, never mind. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What else do I need to do before that? I can start doing Lumen now, so. Uh, classes, Lumen. I need sense magic, which I think it's a little too late now because the freaking owl thing was, oh god. <sighs> Close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. You practice using small amounts of magic and feeling that power outside of yourself. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. Oh, right. God, I need to remember to do these damn voices. There will be p public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. A grand ball? Will there be dancing? As Queen Yu would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly giving a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now, decide later. There is a, be uh, there is a letter for you as well. It's from Byrony. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently her uncle, Keevan, has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest to her. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, where shall we go? Mm. Uh, 
ba 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 This one. Sitting on court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father and it may be important for your future. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Uh, ba 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 ba. It's week six already. <sighs> Fuck, I don't have flexibility. Ah, uh, that's what I was supposed to work on. God damn it. <sighs> now what? I have nothing. Nothing but the... Uh, we'll try anyway. Go for flexibility, because I can't do lumen. Agility, flexibility. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body, then to practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints, twisting, shifting, and rotating. You practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. Well, this is gonna go well. Today is the procession and planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you lead the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment if we lose you. There is no recovery. God, fuck. Um. You know what? I'll try. <laughs> I am not afraid. I am going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy gold scepter that's taller than you are. Fuck. How did I... At the end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and t uh, and call for silence so that you can speak. Well, I have public speaking, so my affectionate greetings to you all and my thanks. For it is the people that I make this domain great. We are here today to celebrate the gifts of the good lady, the promise of fertility and new birth. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardships, but we grow back stronger than ever. Now is the time for new beginnings and for my beginning as your queen. Your words are met with great applause. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Woo! Damn! I did it! I did that, but holy shit. Oh, presence is good. What else? I'm not gonna be able to do sense magic. I need to do something willful. Because the only thing is uh, this one here. What? Oh, okay. Huh. Hi. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Yes, we can do Lumen again. But I won't have sense magic for this week. So I'm fucking screwed. Okay. We will try anyway. Otherwise, you'll be seeing me doing this over and over again until I get to the end. It's actually a really nice series to have for in between like let's plays because it's just it's just relaxing so uh your mentor summons up magical energies to strike the nearby ground so that you can learn to sense someone else's spells in use yeah this is supposed to be up to 80 by now but it's not close your eyes and call out when you detect your mentor casting a silent spell behind uh beside you okay 
Well, I'm not gonna have this in time for this. Okay. Are you ready for the grand ball? Uh, are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you. To see their queen. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Why did I make this? You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around the... The rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you. The ruler of them all. Yes. Okay. You set your eyes... Uh, you let your eyes rest upon which... Ah! God damn it, wake up! To each in turn as you have been taught. Impressing upon them that you are not a child but a queen. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but he look but the look in his eyes are so are so sad. After this you must choose your own partner. There are a number number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kingal Kegel alone has brought three eligible sons all near your age you look around the room at all your possible partners which is to say everyone no one may begin dancing until you do you can pick whomever you want and you will not be denied shit okay uh Hmm. Whom shall I pick? Someone older than me, someone about my age, and someone younger. Or someone already married, but that's that's not nice because I don't want to be a home wrecker. Someone scandalous, let's not do that. Uh we're a queen. We need to have proper etiquette. Um God. Uh I see someone older. Because uh, John is a little, a little older than me, not too old, but uh, okay. You look around for a likely candidate, and your eye settles on Chain, the Earl of Mima. He's almost ten years older. Okay, I didn't mean ten years, but that's okay. Uh, then you are, and quite good looking. So why not enjoy yourself? He smiles brightly at your approach and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his depths like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Fuck! Unfortunately, you lose track of which of each step uh, of which steps you're supposed to do when and trip over your own feet. Yay. Between the dances, there is time for guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. Why do I fail at everything? Oh. Okay. Alright. Um. During a lull in the music, uh, Banian. The Duke of Mari taps an elegant fingertip against your wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. Oh, I forgot his. Oh, I think he was the French one. If I may, if I may have your attention, I believe we should offer a Compliments to our lovely hostess. Not only does she protect our borders, but she has begun to address the long standing problem of a shortage of heirs. My sister is proud to do her duty, as, of course, are others, such as myself and our lovely new queen. You can almost hear the chorus of eyebrows being raised. Fuck. May I have this dance, fair lady? 
Uh, sure. Fine. Certainly. He pulls you close, his hand possessive of your waist, as the orchestra swings back into motion. His head above your yours angles down to murmur words that you hope no one else can hear. You realize that you have just admitted to all your guests that you and I are having an affair here. Fuck! I told you no scandalous shit! Ah, oh, god damn you. What? If you do not marry me now, your virtue shall be stained. That's not fair. Little in life is fair, your highness. Was it fair to force my sister to marry her, her enemy? I need heirs, and so do you. I am the highest ranking eligible man in the Dominion. You clearly could not wed your own father or uncle. Young Elef is still a child. And the Duke of Kingal is happily married. I am the only match worthy for you. You have a point. You are, of course, too young to marry until after your coronation. You will need time to prepare. Don't be sad. I want what's best for both of us and our dominions. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwen, Gwenelle, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to fi uh, to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lilia and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few he years ahead of you at school and the absolute terrors of the ball fields. No Byrony. She had said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke's consort clutching her Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with friends, uh, friends and family, isn't it? Well, my sense magic is fucked. Oh, hate, hate, I hate myself. It's also my fault for not going to the treasury right away. So, uh, yeah. God. Welp. Let's see my mood. Let's get some will up again. Oh my god! Are you joking me? Is this what's happening right now? God. I don't even have intrigue. Enough intrigue to even... Where is it? Intrigue. Am I going blind? Can I not find it? What the fuck? I'm... What? Where is it? What the fuck? Let me see. Oh, there. It's under history. I have nothing in intrigue. I'm very 
stupid. I'm not gonna make it through this game. I'm just saying that now. Oh, what the fuck do I do now? Ooh. Fooey. Mm. Well, fuck me, right? Okay. You know what? Um. I. Ah. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Sense magic, and we'll do wield magic. You learn to s you learn to summon a small glowing light, which you can then move around independently. You learn to whoa, that was fucking oh no yeah, because it was the other one. You learn to detect ongoing enchantments such as blessing, blessing blessed weapons that can do magical damage. Okay. Oh. <sighs> what was your fucking voice again? The Duke of Mari has sent you a gift. An engagement present. You open the box to reveal a little glass figure of a dancing girl. Her hands held above her head. Am I supposed to know what that is? Hang on. I'm just gonna scroll down and see what this actual is. This actual is? This actually is. Ugh. What the fuck? Am I in week 19? Nope. I obviously don't know where I am. I don't know, man. You're a cruel fucking. <sighs> Put it away. You place the dancer back into its box and hand it to your maid. Put it away somewhere safe. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the Dominion. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his. Companion. Dad, you fuck! You're cheating on mom! I know she's dead, but fuck you! Oh, you are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren. Not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to have ever been your friend. And yet, not at all old, as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband and your father's arm in her grasp. You take a deep breath. Hmm. Let's see. I want to just... You meet her eyes and imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. Yes! Her color pales. And she releases her grip on your father's arm, mumbling an apology before hurrying out of the room. You have defeated her. Yeah, bitch, get gone! Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. This is the path that you have set us on. What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Caloris needs an heir. My brother, your uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. Is that all you can think about, father? Fuck you! But mama, nothing can ever replace your mother. But we all have to do things that we don't want to do. F 
fuck you, father. I didn't even want to be queen. Go find your own queen. You don't even need me. Then, if you're going to go find someone else, fuck you. <sighs> you should be careful now, you... How you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. And I have no... I am paying attention to what's around me. Yay, I had no intrigue, so I failed that. Oh, this is not going well. God damn it. Okay. Fuck you, father. Seriously. Another willful. Okay. Now I have a long gap between now and the 28th, and I have to get shit. Uh, I have to get shit done. Composure is okay. Um, I need public speaking up to 70 in order for to do that. I need these at 25, so I'll do flattery and court manners. Flattery and court manners. Done. You learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it is always better to compliment people for their personality and their choices than their physical attributes. Okay. You study rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will compliment, uh, comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. You study the traditions of ballroom etiquette, how to politely accept or defer, defer an offer, and how to avoid the impression of attachment to an individual. Yay! It is time. It is time. F it is the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The, min the majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. I'm always gonna... Uh. Let's raise taxes, because we need... When the war comes, I'm sure we'll need it. We need more... Uh. We need more money. Raise the taxes a bit. As you... As you wish. Alright. Okay. Another willful... Willful... Term. Term? Turn? I don't know. Alright. Oh, new outfit. Tea dress. Oh, hello! Lovely. Mm. Composure is still at 50, so that's okay. <laughs> okay, so I can continue with public speaking because I definitely need that. Public speaking, public speaking. Yep, yep. You, oh, I guess I didn't need to. Okay. You borrow the menu for an upcoming banquet and practice delivering it as a dramatic speech to an audience of confused chambermaids. <laughs> Uh, you learn about debate techniques and practice them by trying to convince a castle gardener why a new fountain would be a good idea. Cool! And then we do it again. Your teacher assigns you to create and memorize a short speech of your own. Your teacher assigns you to read about a subject, memorize a few good phrases from the beginning and ending of a speech, and then make up the rest on the spot. Cool! You are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. 
He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Hmm. Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the powers of the magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again. Partially successful. That's fucking great. I do feel some kind of magic around him. Is it possible that he's telling the truth? Juliana might be able to tell, even if I can't. Her lumen power is stronger than mine. I will summon Juliana. I wish to consult my advisor. Please send for Duchess of Ursa, as you wish. Your Majesty, can you not see the truth for yourself? It is your mercy that I beg, not the powers of a witch. Does she control this castle as well with the demons that she summons? Several onlookers gasp. Wait. I rule this castle and I expect to be obeyed. Your High... Your Highness, I stand ready to serve. Without warning, the Duchess of... The Duchess of Ursa draws her sword. What? Aduna! Uh, uh, I'll do we get down. The man raises his hands, which begins to glow. The demon's power or, or his own? Before he can act, Juliana slashes her soul through the air. A wave of energy seeps away from her blade, striking the man's upraising hands and shredding his skin. He howls and his fingertips elongate, forming golden chains that float through the air. Well, fuck me, right? 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 Snake-like, the chains lash out, not at Juliana, but at you. I just have to freaking fail everything, don't I? Hmm? Fuck me. Right? Right. The chains wrap around your ribs and your neck and begin to tighten. You can see your guards panicking and starting to rush towards the renegade, uh, Lumen. But before they reach him, your vision goes black. And I died, didn't I? Fucking balls! I told you I was gonna die. Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her, but it doesn't have to be end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and... <sighs> well, then, I guess that's the end of our episode. <sighs> so, I'm not going by that damn fucking walkthrough. I'm doing it by these freaking things where it's like, you yeah, have to do this, this, and this before a said week. I, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, we'll be starting over since we died. Because we clearly did something wrong. Okay. Uh, I'll glove you guys later. Bye.